we're gonna do is just go through each trap. Yep. Document what there are for legal lobsters in there. Okay. Uh, just to keep track of it. Every time we check traps, we look for size requirements. We want to make sure that they're able to reach at least breeding maturity, and that's why that minimum size requirement is there. Two short lobsters. So the proper way you measure a lobster, you take one end of the gauge, you hook it into the rear of the eye socket. You've got to keep the gauge right along that center line. It has to be between 3 and a quarter and 5 inches, and it should not fit over the back of the carapace. So obviously, this one does. That's a short lobster. That's the type of lobster we're trying to protect out here. Now that they have checked the size of the lobsters, the officers inspect each trap to ensure they meet the legal requirements. No name tag. Yep. No trap tag. No trap. It's got a name tag on that one. Yeah. I don't see any trap tag. There's multiple violations with these traps. First and foremost, we're looking at is that there aren't any trap tags on them. That's basically our only way to make sure these lobstermen aren't fishing over limits of gear. Uh, they're required to put those trap tags on the traps, so we'll run that name tag. Just want to make a note that all traps were baited. Probably been baited just a few days ago, so he's obviously been out here tending his gear um, and not putting his tags on. All right, pulled up a whole trawl. Officer Benvenuti calls the Marine Fisheries Division to find out if the name on the traps has ordered his trap tags. Thank you, Renee. I appreciate it. So she has no confirmation that he even placed an order or that he received them or anything like that. The lobsterman knows that he has to have those trap tags. And when they're not on the trap, that gives us you know, great concern that potentially they're trying to outsmart the system and fish more traps than they can have. Pretty big deal for us. Obviously, lobstermen have trap limits on their licenses for a reason. It's a detriment to the resource if they're allowed to fish however many traps as they want. I'm not sure what the whole situation is, but uh, this gear's not going to be put back. It's going to be seized and put into evidence, and we'll follow up with the fishermen.